Back for update number two, early signing period 2017, brand new here this year on December 20th as the Buffaloes continue to listen for that fax machine whirling here this morning along with Neil Welk at CUBuffs.com, my voice of the bus, Mark Johnson. We told you last hour that we had five in. Israel Antwine was probably the biggest get at that point, I guess. They flipped him yesterday to the Buffaloes from another Power 5 school in the Big 12, Jarek Broussard, Frank Phillip, Joshua Gines, were the five we talked about uh, last hour. And I think everyone was very happy about those, but it's continued here this morning. Yeah, there uh, there's there been no surprises <laughs> on the bad side so That's far. That's right, yeah, uh, so far. Everybody they've expected to sign has come in uh, right as soon as the uh, time zone allowed them to do so, wherever they're at right now. So it's been a good morning so far. Yeah, once again, the way this works is a student athlete at the respective high school allowed to sign and send in their letter of intent at, at 7 o'clock in their time zone. And so everything started this morning. During the 6 o'clock hour for the Buffaloes, didn't sign anybody out of the Eastern time zone yet. Who knows? Maybe that could happen. But so far, everything's come in from either the Mountain time zone or early this morning, the Central time zone. So here's what has happened over the last hour since we last joined you. Ray Robinson is the latest signing for the Buffaloes. Defensive back, six foot one, two oh five. He's a local kid from right here in the metro area out of Highlands Ranch High School. Good length. Six foot one, defensive back. Boy, the Buffaloes had some great ones come through here recently. Maybe he joins that line you know I, I i anytime colorado signs a defensive back guy i'll i'll take their word for it the guy's pretty going to be pretty good if you look at what uh mike mcintyre staff has done with defensive yep. backs over the last few years this kid certainly seems to fit the bill Six one two zero five. like you said he's got good length he can play on the outside uh plays in good in uh, uh good press coverage it's also a kind of a physical kid that can come up and hit you and yep. so I think they really like his uh, just his overall abilities in that area. So they pick up another defensive player, and obviously uh, the Buffs uh, looking to fill some holes there. Obviously with uh, Isaiah Oliver uh, jumping to the NFL after his junior year. And there's another guy we'll talk about here momentarily, but that becomes an area of need a little bit. Oh, no doubt. And you always want to have defensive backs, especially when you're playing in the Pac-12 where you're playing five and sometimes even six defensive backs on that deep on your defensive alignment. You want as many defensive backs as you can. you got to have depth there especially if somebody gets hurt. But you can be paying six defensive backs. So, As we sit here, by the way, uh, just outside the war room, uh, which is kind of over our right shoulder, there's a lot of activity going on back there. And every once in a while, in fact, our last update, you heard the fight song being sung in the background uh, when a uh, – a prospective student athlete, when they send in their letter of intent, they have a, co a call with the player, and then they sing the fight song to them to make sure that they're, you know, they got the words down when they get here. Yeah, I think that, you know, and, and that's been kind of a fun <laughs> tradition that they've really enjoyed doing, and I think the kids enjoy hearing it. The families are obviously on the other line too, and so it's a lot of fun for them. Next up, Dimitri Stanley, and you want to talk about when this one came in? There was a big cheer coming out of that war room just behind us. He's a wide receiver from here in the metro area as well, from Aurora. He went to Cherry Creek High School, 5'11", 170. Athletic kid. Very athletic kid, and uh, here's where I show how old I am. Dimitri Stanley is the son of uh, former Colorado Buffalo Walter Stanley. So I, I'm old enough to have covered Walter back in the uh, early 80s. Great player. And, and you're I admitting think, that. Yes, yes. How about yeah. that? And uh, I, I think his son is going to be, you know, it could be something special here. We were talking to some coaches earlier this morning. If you watch, he's a kid, he's a kid that has great catch range. And when you say that, that means he can catch something down low. He can get his hands low. He can yep. get his hands off to the side. He can go up high for the ball. So he's a guy that has a, a, a lot of ability, and I think they're excited about him. It was interesting. When the letter did come in and after the call and singing of the fight song, some of the offensive coaches walked through here. Neil and I chatted with them. They're very excited about him. There was a reaction when this one came in. Neil talks about the catch radius and his ability to go down and get the ball at different spots. So very athletic kid. Dimitri Stanley out of Cherry Creek High School. We stay here, and this one's not a big surprise. In fact, in fact, this young man might have been the greatest cheerleader for the Buffaloes in the past 12 months. Quarterback Blake Stenstrom out of Valor Christian, 6'3", 205. This dude has been solidly committed now for a year, and he, I think he's been working his hard recruiting as virtually anybody else on the football Yeah, he's, he's been uh, – Blake has been very active on social media, has uh, really been promoting the program, has been a strong commitment for, like you said, for the last year, and uh, really excited about coming up here. He's another kid with some great bloodlines. His father, Steve, was a, a very, very good quarterback at Stanford played some uh, some years in the NFL mm -hmm. uh, obviously has the genes obviously has the uh, you know the, the background in it and uh, 
Actually, Steve Stenstrom uh, beat Colorado with a touchdown pass late in the game many years ago out at Stanford, beat one of Bill McCartney's teams. So uh, there's some there's some ge- there's some genes there that I think people are going to like. Yeah, he's got great bloodlines. If you had a chance to see him and uh, his junior year, he was behind one of the McCaffrey boys there at mm-hmm. Valor Christian. And so the, the number of starts is not enormous. But when he's been out there, if you had a chance to watch him, if you had a chance to see him a couple of times in some of the, the cable uh, television broadcasts, impressive looking kid, playmaking kind of quarterback. Yeah, and he and he's got he's got you know nice athletic ability. I don't think he's going to be you know he, a guy that has to stand up in the pocket. And can't, but I think he can move around and do a lot of different things. Uh, throws the short ball well, throws the long ball well, and and just you know a, a great a great get to have him come in here and be able to develop him over the next few years. And when you talk to coaches, one thing they talk about with him is leadership. And we talked about how he's kind of been promoting the program over the last year. So a guy that's got a great love, obviously, for the Buffaloes. Here's your first junior college athlete. Just a little while ago, he came in, Delrick Abrams. Defensive back, and when I looked at the numbers in this, 6'3", 185, he's out of Angie, Louisiana, played junior college ball in Kansas, in Independence Community College. I thought Jimmy Smith in terms of the numbers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you look at a 6'3", kid, uh, you know, a buck 85, he's a guy with great length. Uh, you know, Mike McIntyre always talks about the, the ability to uh, to go up and get the ball, to cover in, in space, to do all those different kinds of things, and certainly I think Delrick Abrams has that, has that ability. Uh, like you said, reminds a little bit of a Jimmy Smith, a long, lean type of guy that can do a lot of things out there on the corner. Boy, it's uh, it's been kind of fun talking with some of the coaches that come out, and, and obviously this is a, a great get right here in Delrick Abrams out of the junior college rank. We expect a few more out of the JC ranks. Go back to though uh, Israel Antwine for just a second here. We'll segue back to a guy that we talked about last hour. We got word while, in fact, we were doing the update that he had flipped. We heard that yesterday, but that he officially had become a Buffalo. We talked with uh, with one of the coaches about his strength and the kind mm-hmm. of guy he is. They're really impressed by him. Oh, they yeah, they really yeah. like him. Uh, Oak, state of Oklahoma powerlifting champion. Yeah. And so, you know, obviously got great strength, uh, you know, great leg strength. He's a guy that could play inside and outside. I think you mentioned that. Yeah. But uh, they, they see him as a defensive end, uh, could come in and play right away. He's, he's, you know, weighing about 300 pounds right now. Terrific strength good speed, knows how to get to the quarterback, plays the run, and, and they're a, that's a guy that they're very excited about getting. The, the coach they talk, that we talked to said, you know, if, speaking of the powerlifting, he had squatted 650 pounds yeah. or about like five or six times. Yeah. It's, like, it's like, you know, squatting a Volkswagen. Well, that's like picking up half of an offensive line. <laughs> that's right. You know? That's right. So they're really excited about Which is what they hope him. he can do. Which is what they hope he can Real do. Real excited about him. So we're sitting at nine right now. And don't we think the number's going to be in that just over 20 maybe? Yeah, I think it'll be in that 20 to 25 range depending on you know uh, uh, what happens as the day goes on like we said no surprises on the bad side so far they were excited to get Israel Antoine there's a kid that got offered by just about every major college you know he yeah. could have gone just about anywhere he wanted to he was That's getting right. some great offers from SEC schools ACC schools Big 12 schools and uh, decided he wanted to come here because he he sees the opportunity I think to play early right. to come in here and make a uh, you know make an impact early in his career and and certainly when you look at his just his numbers yeah. Yeah, very impressive. In fact, uh, Georgia offered him at one point in time, so there was a number of schools out of the SEC. So nine deep right now is what the uh, recruiting class is. We'll continue to bring you updates. Follow us on cubus.com here on Facebook and the various social media outlets as we continue on this early signing day, 2017. For Neil Welk at cubus.com, I'm voice of the bus, Mark Johnson. We'll talk to you next hour.